Is the U.S. economy actually growing? Michael Snyder reports. Okay, so they want us to believe that the U.S. economy grew at a very brisk pace during the fourth quarter of 2023, even though mass layoffs are happening all over America, sales of previously owned homes are at the lowest level in 28 years, homelessness is rising at the fastest pace ever recorded, and survey after survey is showing that most Americans are just barely scraping by from month to month. Needless to say, something does not add up. The American people are deeply frustrated with how the economy is performing, but the government keeps giving us numbers that indicate that everything is just great. On Thursday, we were told that the U.S. economy grew a 3.3% annualized rate during the fourth quarter 2023. The economy grew at a much more rapid pace than expected, while inflation eased in the final three months of 2023, as the U.S. easily skirted a recession that many forecasters had thought was inevitable, the Commerce Department reported on Thursday. Gross domestic product, a measure of all the goods and services produced, increased to 3.3% annualized rate in the fourth quarter of 2023, according to data adjusted seasonally and for inflation. That compared with the Wall Street consensus estimate for a gain of 2% in the final three months of the year. If that number actually reflected reality, it would be very great news, very good news. But how is it possible that layoffs were up 98% in 2023, while the U.S. economy was supposedly growing all year long? To me, it appears that something fishy is going on, and that is precisely what we see when we take a deeper look at the numbers. According to Zero Hedge, GDP boosting gimmicks, quote unquote, are being employed to make things look better than they actually are. Turning to the all-important cons uh, consumption, we cannot help but smile when noticing that BEA is again resorting to such favor favorite GDP boosting gimmicks of the old Obama administration as spending on health care and RVs. The two contributed to roughly half the growth in consumer spending in the fourth quarter. Other numbers that don't come from the Biden administration tell a much different story. For example, the Chicago Fed's National Activity Index was negative in December, and it has been negative for eight of the past 12 months. Against expectations of small rise from 0.03 to 0.06, the Chicago Fed's National Activity Index which draws on 85 economic indicators, tumbled to minus 0.15 in December. 2023 ends with eight of the 12 months in negative territory. So how in the world can the economy be growing, quote unquote, if national economic activity was in negative territory for two thirds of last year? It doesn't make any sense at all. And if the outlook of, for the future is positive, why are so many mass layoffs happening? Business Insider had already conducted one round of mass layoffs, but they just decided that another round has, be, uh, has become necessary. In the latest wave of layoffs to hit the digital media biz, Business Insider said it will cut 8% of its staff in a reconstruct, uh, reconstructing aimed at uh, positioning the company for growth. Business Insider CEO Barbara Peng announced the job cuts in a memo to staffers on Thursday. She said, we have already begun to refocus teams and invest in areas that drive outsized value for our core audience. Unfortunately, this also means we need to scale back in some areas of our organization, she wrote. Back when it first started, Business Insider was actually quite good, but those days are long gone. Microsoft is another big name that's putting large numbers of workers on the chopping block. Microsoft will lay off 1,900 employees at Activision, Blizzard, and Xbox, the latest tech company to announce cuts so far in 2024. The layoffs represent about an 8% cut of its video gaming staff of 22,000 uh, 22, workers and come months after Microsoft acquired Activision in a blockbuster deal, the $69 billion transaction in October represented one of the largest tech deals in history as Microsoft took over the studios behind best-selling games like 
Call of Duty, Diablo, and Overwatch for its Xbox co console. And even though things are looking up for IBM these days, they're planning job cuts too. IBM has also also said it will uh, it will also cut a percentage of positions in the law single low single digits in 2024. The planned job cuts follow similar announcements in January by major tech companies, including Alphabet's Google and Amazon. Chief Financial Officer James Cavanaugh said IBM will likely spend the same amount on reconstructing as it did in 2024. US $400 million when it reduces workforce by about 3,900 jobs. Day after day, I share examples of very large companies that are conducting mass layoffs. Why would they be doing this if tremendous prosperity is ahead of us? It wouldn't make any sense at all. Of course, the truth is that an economic downturn has already begun and it's going to get even deeper in 2024. Those on the bottom of the economic food chain are being hit the hardest. Earlier today, I was saddened to read about homeless people in California that are being evicted from caves that they dug into the banks of a river. Rough sleepers in California were found living inside furnished caves dug into the banks of a river 20 feet below street level. The groups were removed from the eight caves along the Tuolumne River in Modesto over the weekend and they were emptied of belongings, furniture, and 7,600 pounds of rubbish, filling two trucks and a trailer. Some of the caves were decorated with murals, had broken floor tiles, and even had a, a makeshift fireplace with a chimney. There are countless others just like them all over the country. The Wall Street Journal has reported that homelessness was rising at the fastest pace ever recorded in 2023. But don't worry about any of that. According to Joe Biden and his minions, the U.S. economy is growing steadily and everything is just great. You believe them, don't you? Uh, this is by Michael Snyder. This is by Michael Snyder. And he says about the author, my name is Michael. And my brand new book entitled Chaos is now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written seven other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future America, The Beginning of the End and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have also started a brand new Substack newsletter and I encourage you to subscribe so that you won't miss any of my articles. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream and the Most Important News, and the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely ask and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the, uh, the author section with each article. The material contained this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Twitter. And any way that you can share these articles with others, definitely a great help. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is on the Economic Collapse blog by Michael Snyder. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.